Today we're 3D printing a Tiger tank and we're also going to paint it up as well. This is a free 3D model and the link to the original design and designer is in the description below. There's also a couple of different variants of the hull and the turret for this 3D print. Now to make this easier on myself, you can see that I actually dropped the 3D print down because it's actually got little bumps on the bottom and I wanted a nice flat surface to print with. So I did that instead. And yeah, trying out this tree supports, and uh, probably not the best model to actually try them on for the first time. But this is just to get better at my options that I use for printing stuff. So yeah, let's jump into it. We're gonna be disassembling all the tree supports first, which are all the bits that normally would be more of a grid pattern, what I would normally go with. But I think it's time to start using different support types. And this was relatively easy to get off. Did get in there and kind of pry it a bit, but other than that, it was actually very good and very little cleanup overall. So very happy with it. And the model itself came out looking gorgeous. And you can see here that we have our main body looking great. Then we've also, of course, got our turret along with the tracks. And overall, I think this is gonna look very nice once we paint it up. I'm not gonna go for a accurate paint job, but I wanna go for a cool paint job. So got some nice olive green spray paint and we're gonna get that as a base color. Then I'm gonna go in with two different colors to add on, hopefully a really cool overall camel that uh, I should be extremely happy with. Now I've gone and silvered up the tracks, as you can see, just some very simple spray painting, not even masking it, and it went well. And then here is the final paint job. Of course, just adding some brown and some red to make uh, a rather striking, and I'm extremely happy with, uh, overall camel. And then you can see we got some holes underneath to line up the tracks with when we stick it in. And I'm not gonna actually print the pins off for this, which do come with the 3D model instead. I've actually got some spare stuff that I've been saving that was extras from other 3D prints so that, you know, instead of uh, wasting plastic, I can just use them instead. So just cut them up and use them for these uh, pins. And as you can see, very easy assembly. Just some glue down there on the pins and on the surface and then stick on the tracks. Very nice, very simple, no complexities here. And I think this will hold on extraordinarily well. And then yes, we have our final tank. Of course, the turret is not like stuck on because it can rotate around, but that is our final tank. And I am extraordinarily happy with this Tiger. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Very, very nice, great details, printed off beautifully. I always think the slanted armor looks great when it's 3D printed because you get the layer lines every line. And because of that, you end up with what looks like cool armor just from the way the normally, you know, normally 3D prints. And I always think it gives tanks an extra little edge over other models I see that aren't 3D printed. And yeah, really nice texture, really nice design, beautiful 3D print and a lot of fun. And I'd highly recommend it. It's a very simple print. It's actually a remaster of the original designer's original version of it, which was more complicated to print. This one is definitely far simpler and really just looks stunning at the end of the day. And this took me just a day to make and paint and I'm extraordinarily happy with it. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.